This piece of knitting will clearly show you the little lacy pattern that you're creating. We did that with the two rows that I showed you before, if you remember, and you will have done either two or four more rows depending on the size of booty that you're knitting. You're now going to change to the garter stitch. You can clearly see that on the little uh, booty here, this little upper. So we've done the little lacy stitch and now we're going to do the little top of the upper in um, the, the garter stitch. I've actually sort of been knitting um, and I've got 38 stitches now on my needle, which is a little bit further down um, the instructions. So um, I have 38 stitches and my next row I'll be knitting 14. So bear with me or come along the row with me and we're going to be knitting 14 stitches. Count as you go. And that stitch makes 14. Now we're going to knit the next two stitches together. Again, uh, the cotton can be quite firm. So take care not to split the yarn. That's knitting two stitches together. Now to create this little piece across here, six stitches. So we're just going to knit six stitches. One, two, three, four, five. Just move that up a little and knit six. That creates the little front of the shoe. Knit the next two together, more or less turning the corner, doing a little wedge shape if you like and then you're going to knit 14 just to the end of the row you knit in along the side of the shoe And that's us knitting to the end. Okay. Sh um, shadows or anything? Or? Okay. Are you ready? So we now have 36 stitches um, on, the, on the needles. We're now going to uh, just do the little shaping to create the little strap. And I'm going to show you the, in detail how to do the little buttonhole, which is really, really simple. So in good fashion, I, here's one that I've uh, already started and you can see quite clearly the next part of the instructions from the pattern. Um, if we go here, we've got the little knit 10. You'll see that if you refer to the pattern. Um, knit three rows and we cast off. We rejoin the yarn to this point, cast off this center quite neatly. And it's quite nice and cotton because you begin to see all those lovely little V's that make the front of the shoe. And knit to the end and turning the work, you can see what we've done. And we cast on the 12 stitches for the little strap. Now I'm going to show you how to do the little buttonhole. So with the wrong side facing, we're going to do the buttonhole row. And we're going to knit along the row to the last three stitches. Moving the stitches up as we go. Sometimes, especially with cotton, the yarn can stick a little. A little tip is that actually sometimes not many people have talcum powder, but you can put a little talc on your hands. So 
So knit across the row just to the last three stitches. And the simplest, simplest of little techniques that you've already learned with this project, the yarn over needle. There we are. A few more stitches, keeping it quite neat and firm. One more. So we have three stitches left. Now we're going to take the yarn over the needle as we've done before, knit the next two stitches together and knit that last stitch to give a nice firm edge stitch. And what we're going to do now, turn the work, just knit two rows and hey voila, that's just the tiniest little eyelet hole your little tiny pearl button. So okay that's the little uh, left shoe um, or at least the upper completed and to work the corresponding right shoe um, just reverse the shapings. Uh, this is one I've made earlier and you can see that in its entirety. So that's the little right upper. Now we're going to move on to the little soles and again they're made with the yarn used double just to give them a, a nice little a uh, bit of reinforcement. So using the yarn double, um, we're just going to cast on eight stitches. I have eight stitches on the needle here. I'm just going to show you the simple uh, principle of increasing and decreasing to create the sole. So with your eight stitches, we're going to increase uh, into the first stitch and into the last stitch of um, the row. So increase, you, you knit you come in, over and under, but then you go back into the stitch, into the back of the stitch, bring it back and that creates an increase. You now have two stitches, so you literally knit into the front and into the back of the stitch. By in, over, under, and instead of taking it off, go back into the back of the stitch, over again, under again and off. And you will now have 10 stitches. If we turn the yarn and following the pattern where it now says to decrease, what we do to decrease is just simply knit two stitches together. Okay, one finished booty. We have a sole and we have an upper and now just to put it together. I think this is the best bit finishing a project is just my most favourite. I know it's not everyone's. But you have two pieces, a little upper and the little sole. First of all, weave in all your little ends and that's quite a simple method to do. Just weave them in the back. Never do them along the side. It makes a very sort of scrunchy, lumpy little seam. And what we're going to do is, as you see, just turn it through. A little seam down here, the back centre. And once you have that, it's just a question of putting the little uh, sole. And although in my instructions in the book, and the one that you can download, you, uh, it says to do mattress seam, I've actually over-sewed um, booties in the past. I find it quite firm and it's, you can see where you're going. 